quite some time. <laughs> Nevertheless, it is very big of you to finally admit that. Uh, no, instead I was nervous because, truth be told, I didn't know what this role actually entailed. So I had to, you know, look up and figure out what it is that uh, the best man needs to do. And there are two main responsibilities. One is to make sure that the groom makes it to the venue on time, sober, and presentable. Two out of three is not bad. Uh, the other, of course, is to deliver this speech. Now, for those of you who don't yet know our family in it, we have a nurse, an engineer, a cop, an accountant, and an economist. Words really aren't our strong suit. Uh, so I'll have to muddle through this as best I can. Um, now par for the course would have me assassinate my big brother's character to share stories of his reckless youth, of his wilder times, his formative years. Uh, but unfortunately for me, I reiterate, he's an accountant and there are no such stories. <laughs> So without that option, I figured I would take this as an opportunity simply to speak about my relationship with my big brother, AJ. Um, now growing up, he and I, um, we were actually remarkably similar. And because of which, he and I didn't really get along all that well. Um, in fact, there was almost kind of this unspoken competition between he and I. Uh, he graduated the top 20 of his class of 300, so I had to graduate in the top 10. He spent, he spent countless hours in the gym trying to achieve the perfect physique, whereas I relied on my naturally stunning good looks. <laughs> now, I played football all through high school, so AJ had to be team captain. And even when my hairline started receding, <laughs> Two out of three is not bad. Uh, but as uh, we actually got older and AJ went off to college, uh, I did the same. I slowly started to see that competition began to diminish and it began to fade away. And when it started to fade away, all that you had left really was two brothers who were remarkably similar. Um, and even when I went through some of the harder times in my life, um, some of the more difficult times, there was always AJ. Um, and he was always there with that quiet, stoic kind of sense of support that you know you wouldn't think out of an all-American football player, but it was always there. And um, I started to realize that AJ was not a person that I should be competing with. He's a person that I should emulate. And uh, I see so much of our parents in you, and I really can't think of a better compliment than that. Um, so here we are today, AJ, the first of the Chascos, down the aisle, but it's not a competition. <laughs> And I say that because in all reality, I feel just as grateful standing here today as AJ is sitting there now. Um, he has brought this unbelievably beautiful, unbelievably kind and loving woman into our family. And she's a woman that I'm proud to call my sister-in-law. With that, I ask everyone please raise your glasses one last time. For AJ and Lindsay Chasco, may you always grow together and never apart. Congratulations. Ladies